Uh, so, um, the what, why, and how of free body diagram. So, what is free body diagram? Uh, what is free body diagram? It's basically uh, drawing that showing all the forces in one point or in one rigid body. Okay, for this example, okay. So for this example, uh, you have one engine, right? You have one engine here. You have one engine. And then you have 3D cable. So the FBD, if you transform the FBD, so it become like this, okay? You have one point and you have three forces. Three forces here. Or if I want to show you another example, uh, let's say I show you with a whiteboard, All right? So let's say you have uh, you have one bar, okay? You have one bar, All right? And then you have one person here. Uh, let's say you you do a swim, swimming board. Let's say this is swimming board. Okay. This is swimming board. Okay. This is swimming board. And then you have one here. One more uh, support here. You have one more support. Okay. So this is swimming board. Let's say this is swimming. Swimming. Board. Uh, wait eh. So swimming. Board. Okay. So how do you, I want to transfer this into FBD? Okay. This is a uh, people weight, let's say 90, 90 kilogram. Okay. Let's say this 90 kilogram. Ninety kilogram. Okay. How do I transfer this into uh FBD, okay. You want to transfer this into FBD. FBD means free uh, body diagram, okay. So you want to transfer them. We draw each support they have uh, certain forces. So this one we call it as a FBD, okay. Also not so clear. I refer back to the to the slide. Uh, Right. Uh, let's say you have this this kind of problem, right? You have one engine. Okay, you have one engine. Yeah. So if I want to transfer this into free body diagram, okay, you need to only take this point. Okay, you have this point. So you have tension for BA and then you have tension for DA and then, and then you have weight of the weight of the engine here all right so you transform this system into FBD you get the uh, we call it as a free body diagram okay so how you want to solve this uh, when we transfer into free body diagram, we can relate to our uh, equation of equilibrium. So equation of equilibrium means uh, summation of 
So summation of fx is equals to zero and summation of fy is equals to zero. So this one is equation of 2D uh, in equilibrium. So you have uh, you have uh, fx and you have fy, All right? You have fx and you have fy. Summation so then m become zero. Okay. So if I do this. So let's say you have always referred to FBD. So this one is your FBD, three bond diagram. Okay. Right. So you have uh, FBD. Okay, uh, so we can transform into the equation of motion. So you have equation, equation of equilibrium. Equation equation of equilibrium, okay. Equation of equilibrium. Equilibrium. Uh, wait, I think I will share screen. Uh, Okay, uh, so we have uh, equation equilibrium in particular in 2D. Okay, so like I said before, okay, this one is your TB and this is your TD. Okay, it is any, it is, this is your weight. Okay, once you complete your FBD, uh, you can do the analysis using equation of equilibrium. Okay, using equation of equilibrium. Right. Uh, so you have a TB here, you have TD and you have weight of the engine. So remember, summation of Fx is equals to zero. Summation of Fy is equals to zero. All right. And then uh, we have to resolve into X and Y. Okay, because this is X and this is Y. So how to resolve? So you have Fx is equals to zero. So you have TB cos 30. Okay, TB cos 30, you have this one. TB cos 30. And you have minus TD here, minus TD because in minus X direction and then equals to zero okay and then summation of f y is equals to zero this one is summation of f x is equals to zero so you have t b here sine 
30. This one is TB sine 30. Alright. Minus 2452. Kilo Newton is equal to 0. Then, uh, we're solving the equation. Uh, you, this one you have two, two unknowns. Equation. So, you can solve using a uh, simultaneous equation. You get the answer. Lah, TB and TD. So, TB here is 4.9 kilo newton and TD is 4.25 kilo newton. Alright. So, that's the uh, how you convert a uh, working diagram. This one we call a working diagram. Working diagram. And this one we call as a free body diagram. Free body diagram okay or fbd fb fbd all right uh spring cables and pulley okay so spring cables and pulley they have a uh, different type of force for example you have this spring okay i think you 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 remember in your physics spm uh, okay formulation so for for the force using spring you should have f is equals to k times s k is the coefficient of spring and s is your deformation all right let's say your original length of spring is 0 0.4 0 0.4 meter if this tension in this one tension okay so total is total length is uh, 0 0.6 if it go down 0 0.2 you have total length 0 0.6 so f is simply k times 0 0.2 this one is your deformation deformation all right this is spring if the other way if it compression this one is compression this one is tension and this one is compression compress right uh, so for compression you have minus lah. okay if if the compress you have minus so f is equals to k times minus 0 0.2 okay you have minus answer this one is positive answer for the compression for the tension you have positive so for the pulley for the pulley system or the for the cable remember if they have only have one cable the tension are same so you have t2 is equals to t1 uh, where t is your tension of the of the cable all right and then direction direction of cable is always going outwards okay going outwards but because cable you cannot push the cable or rope you cannot push the rope cable is always outward to the uh, direction so let's say you have one wall and you have rope let's say this is your rope so direction of the forces is always like this okay this cannot be going inward to the rope so this is lah. it's strong this is okay the forces is always going outward from the cable or rope like this one okay uh kalau saya padam balik eh okay tak apa alright so problem uh, number 1 so determine the tension in cable BA and BC to support the 60 kilogram cylinder all right so you have this cylinder you have this cylinder uh, 60 kilogram so what is tension in cable ba and bc so this is ba ba and this is bc okay this is bc all right so this one is ba so what is the tension okay what is the tension or the forces in the cable all right 
So you need to convert this into free body diagram. So remember two steps. You have step one. You have step one. Uh, you need to draw free body diagram. Okay. And step two, you have apply equation of equilibrium all right or we call it as equation of equilibrium lah. okay for the short form all right so convert this convert this into fbd okay so to convert this we take this point we take point b all right so point B, we draw the forces on point B. So you have force going upward from the cable. So you have, let's say this one is force uh, BC, all right, BC. And then you have force BA this way. So this one is force BA. And then you have weight of the cylinder going downward. Uh, weight, W lah. Okay, w. So this is your FBD. So if you, want, if you want to put the dimension, also can. If you don't want, also, also can. So this one is 45 degree. And then this one is 3, 4, and 5. So this one is your FBD. Okay, so this one is your FBD. Once you complete FBD, uh, you no need to, you don't need to look this anymore. Okay, always look for FBD for your analysis. All right. So step number two. So step number two. Step two. Uh, apply equation of equilibrium. Okay. So equation of equilibrium, they have two, only two equation for the particle, so they only have two, which is summation of Fx is equal to zero, and summation of Fy is equal to zero. So you have two equation, and then you should have, you should uh, uh, have only two unknowns. If you have two, you have more than two unknowns, you cannot solve this equation. So your principle should have two unknowns and two equation. You have two equation, which is fx and fy. So you should also have two unknowns. For for example, you have weight. Weight we have sixty kilogram uh, times nine point eight one for newton. So you got answer 60 times 9.81. So you have 588.6. You have 588.6 Newton. All right. So you have W, you got the value. So you left with FBA and FBD. So this is your two unknowns. Okay. So apply equation of equa equation of equilibrium. You have summation of F x zero. So you have F B C cos forty five. This one F B C cos forty five in S direction minus F B A. Uh, for the S direction, you have four times four over. Five is equals to zero. So this is equation number one. Uh, yep. Right, equation number one. So for the f y is equal to zero, we should have f b c sine forty five plus FBA times 3 over 5. 
remember minus w w is 588.6 is equals to 0 okay uh, so uh, I, I change this uh, sir yeah if the first equation uh, if I do it FBA 4 over 5 minus FBC cos 45. Can or can I say? Uh, how? F? F? Uh, FBA 4 over 5 minus FBC cos 45. I do it. Uh, ah, kalau saya buat tu balik, ni saya salah. Tu balik mana? FBA cos? Yang, yang first equation ni saya. Uh, uh, first equation. For the first equation. F, FBA 4 over 5 uh -huh. minus FBC cos 45. Uh, ke, ke macam saya just nak tunjukkan tu punya equation ni sir? Tak, dia kena, uh, they must have uh, To the right is positive This one is positive uh, To the left is negative Okay When you when uh -huh. we do FBA 4 over 5 So this one lah This one is FBA cos of FBA 4 over 5 Oh, okay, right. okay, okay, okay. Alright, thank you, sir. Right. Uh, any question? Any other question? Sir, in question number two. Question number two, right? Equation. The y is minus 588.6. Yeah. In number Sorry? two equation, I minus 588.6. Why minus? Because uh, W is going downwards. It's going downwards. Where minus. Right? Uh, yeah, thank you, sir. Okay. So, remember the, the coordinates when the going... So, this way is positive. And upward is positive. And um, left is negative. And the is negative. Okay? So, remember this. We need to apply this in uh, this symbol. This sign in this equation. Alright, you need to apply this. And try to change the color uh, of the. Layla. Laila, Laila, I feel it. Okay. Uh, yep. You have this sign again, eh? FBC. So you have weight. Uh, this T times 9.81. Okay. And then you have BA here. This one is 45 degree, and you have 3, 4, and 5. And then uh, summation of fx 0. So you have f b e cos 45 minus f b a times 4 over 5 to 0. Summation of f y to zero with f b a uh, times three over five plus f b c sine forty five minus w uh, w is five eight eight six five eight eight Newton is equal to zero. So, uh, you need to remember, so this one is positive, uh, upper also positive, uh, to the left is negative, to the bottom is negative. So, when you resolve this, uh, you, you come up with this equation. So, this is equation number one. This is equation number two. All right. So, using calculator, uh, so using calculator, you can resolve this uh right so you have fbc uh, cos 45 is 
zero point seven. So zero point seven F E C minus four over five. Zero point eight. Zero point eight F B A is equals to zero. Okay. So this one also same. Uh, so we have sine forty five. You got zero point seven F B C also, and then plus three over five. 0 0.6 FBA is equals to 588.6 Newton. Alright, so I change uh, BC I put here and BA I put here because I want to have the same value here. So both FBC and here also FBA. So you can simply use your calculator to solve this or you can solve it manually. Alright, so when solve this. Uh, you have two unknowns, so you have 0 0.7 minus 0 0.8, 0, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, you have 588.6. So you have FBC, you got the answer 480 Newton, and FBA is 420.4. Newton, right? So you get the answer for these two equations, right? Okay, so uh, when you resolve this, uh, if I draw in here, uh, you got FBA, this one is FBA 3 over 5, okay? And then you have here FBA. Uh, 4 over 5 okay and then we resolve here fbc cos 45 and then also you have this way fbc sine 45 okay and then you have weight to bawah uh, to the below uh, weight okay so any pos this one is positive uh, positive positive negative and this one is negative okay just do a summation of fx zero and fy is equal to zero all right uh, so problem number two uh, i think same question so you have one weight uh weight 200 kilogram here and then cot bc remains horizontal to the roller at c and cot bc has length of 1.5 meter bc is 1.5 meter so this one is 1.5 meter right uh, y is 0 0.75 meter Determine the force in each cord for equilibrium. Okay, so they need you to find force for BA and force for BC. Okay, you need to find this. All right, the steps are same. First, you need to draw, uh, draw FBD. Right, you need to draw FBD. So step one. Draw free body diagram. Okay. So take point B at the center here. Okay. You draw FBD. So you have here FBA always going up, uh, keluar ataupun out the pada cable. And then you have FBC. And then you have weight. Weight could always and downward right because of gravity so weight is 200 times 9.81 this also is weight which is uh, you have 200 times 9.81 uh, 1962 
happy with today. Yeah. So what is the angle? It's better you to find the angle, lah, theta. So theta is, so since here is 0 0.75, so theta is simply tan tan how to find theta you have 0 0.5 here and this cable uh, uh, tan huh? here is 1.5 meter tan of, of, of 0.7 over 0 0.5 right? right 0 0.75 over 0 0.5 right so you get theta point seven five over point five uh fifty six point three degree fifty six point three degree so here is fifty six point three degree All right so that's step number one. So when you finish this uh, FBD, you no need to look into here anymore, all right? Just look at your FBD to solve your equation. Because the FBD, you have some marks. Even your answer is wrong. So when you draw the FBD, you got some marks uh, for your examination or test. All right. So some, remember step two, apply equation of equilibrium so start with fx zero so you have fba uh, cos 56.3 minus fbc because fbc is going to the left so equals to zero so this is question number number one so summation of fy is equal to zero uh, to the up is positive to the right is positive. so you have fba uh, sine 56.3 uh, minus 1962 newton is equal to zero this is question number two all right so for fbc they don't have the y direction because they're only going to the minus x all right so using uh some maintenance equation so solve for so solve equation one so you get the answer uh, you know right how to use calculator for your some maintenance equation right 46.3 Minus one zero sine fifty six point three zero one nine six two. Okay, so you got answer uh, FBA uh, two and FBA one five. Right, so this is the answer. Problem number, number two. All right, so any question so far? Before we go to problem number three. All right. So for problem number three, they're a bit tricky because they have two. Uh, two geometry or two two load you have load b and you have load a you have load b and load a and you have so many table all right what you can do is you make two point uh you draw fbd for point c first and then you draw fbd for point e uh what's the same for this problem you have this this cable all right so this cable they have same tension or same uh, force all right same force 
if I draw uh, FBD for point C, okay, draw FBD. So step one, draw FBD. Okay. Uh, so the the question is force in the cable and weight of set B. So you need to find force of C D, force of C E, uh, force of G E and weight weight of B. Alright, you need to for find four item for this question. Right. So first you need to solve for let's say you solve for point C first. Alright. Draw a PD for point C. Alright. So when we draw this, you get this one is C. So you have F, C, E, right? And then you have weight, W, B, and then you have F, C, D. F, C, D, okay? With the angle of 45 degree and 3, 4, and 5. All right. This is FBD for point C, okay? And then FBD for point E, point C and point E, yeah. Right. So this is point E. So you have a weight of 20 Newton. And then you have force of CE, okay? So you remember, this force is going this way, and this force is going this way. It's okay, all right? So you have force in this way, and then you have force in this way. It's opposite direction. It's okay, because the force must going outwards from the cable, all right? In fact, this must have equilibrium. So when we have this direction and you have this direction, they will become zero, right? So this is equilibrium, right? So they have some some same value, all right? You have FCE in this way, and you have FCE also, but in opposite direction, all right? And then you have force uh, G E in here. All right, and then the degree, okay, and then here you have uh, 45 degree, okay. So you have two FBD, you need, you need to analyze, an analyze using uh, two parts, lah, all right. So here you have WB is unknowns, you don't know the value. FCD also unknowns, this one also unknowns. You, so you have three unknowns. In fact, you have only two equations, which is summation of Fs and summation of Fy. But you have three unknowns. You cannot solve using that equation. Okay, so look at this one, point E. So you have FCE unknowns, FGE is your unknowns. So you have two unknowns, so you can solve this. You solve this one first using equation of equilibrium because uh, we have enough equation and enough unknowns, all right? So solve for, for point E first, all right? Solve for point E. Right, so where is point E? So here point E. So summation of Fx is equals to zero. So you get the Fge 
uh, cos 60 minus FCE sine 45, all right, or cos 45, sine 45 is equals to 0, okay? And then summation of FY is equals to 0. Uh, you got FGE sine 60 degree minus FC 45 degree minus 20 is equal to 0. Okay. So using calculator, you solve for equation number 1 and equation number 2. All right. So you get the answer. Uh, wait. Cos 60 minus sine 45, 0. Sine 60 minus cos 45, 20. So you have FGE to solve for 1 and 2, you got FGE 45.6 Newton and FCE 38.6 Newton. Alright? So once you get the answer for FCE here, you can plug in into this unknowns. So this you get 38.6 Newton. Alright, so now you have two you have uh, two unknowns which is FCD and WB, way of B because this we know already from the uh, point E. Alright. So same uh, procedure you can solve, solve uh, equation of equilibrium for point C, eh, point, yeah, point C, all right? So summation of Fx is equals to zero. Yeah, you got 38.6 cos 45, so 38.6 cos 45, yeah, 38.6 cos 45 minus 4 over 5 FCD, minus 4 over 5 FCD is equals to 0, equal to 0. This is number, number 1. And then summation of FY is equals to 0. So you have FCE sine 45. Okay. FCE sine 45. 38.6. 38.6 sine 45. Plus FCD 3 over 5. Why plus? Because it's going upwards. FCD. 3 over 5 and then minus WB. Why minus? Because it's going downwards. Minus WB. So minus WB is equal to 0. Alright. So you can solve this uh, equation. So solve for equation 1 and 2. Right. So you get the uh, minus 4 over 5 and then yeah, the, the value is minus 0 minus 38.6 cos 45 and then for equation number 2 you have 3 over 5 Okay, and then minus 1, 
and then minus 38.6 sine 45. So you get the answer. FCD is 34.12 Newton. And weight of B is 47.76 Newton. So you get the answer for each force and weight of B. Right? So that's all I think for the equilibrium of a particle, all right? So last semester you have one question, one, one question uh, on this type, so you need to study, uh, all right? So done with the particle. Uh, now we go to the equilibrium of rigid body. So equilibrium of rigid body. Okay. Hmm. So for rigid body, uh, you need to study the uh, what we call it as a support because, uh, for example, you have cable here, yeah? they have some support. Uh, the cable has a force on the bracket, like this one, okay? And then you also have a uh, feet support, you have a roller support, you have pin support. So each support, they have some... Uh, Known or unknown force that we can simplify our problem. So, for example, for example, you have bar, or you have bar here, okay, and then you have roller. Roller is like a wheel, ataupun tayar ataupun roda. This is roller. So the force on the roller is in this way, okay, in this way. But apa? Sebab roller dia boleh it can move to the left, to the right, and it can move to the right and to the left. But it cannot move to the upwards and downwards. Ini tak boleh. It cannot move upwards and downwards. Yang mana tak boleh tu? The ones you cannot move, you put the, the force. Or here. Okay? This is the force for the roller. For the bar. Okay? You have roller here. So what's the force for here? So simply bar, you put the force here or here. Okay, because we tak boleh nak gerak ke atas ataupun ke bawah. So ada roller. So yang mana, uh, which one is uh, prevent the movement? So that is the force lah. Prevent the movement is the force we can draw to the system. Okay, okay we, we, we will uh, see later, alright, for more example. So support number two, we have a reaction of pin. So pin reaction like this one, okay, like this one, pin reaction. So it cannot move to the left. It cannot move to the left. It cannot move to the right. It cannot move to the up, uh, uh, upward and it tak boleh nak gerak ke, ke bawah. But it can rotate uh, clockwise and Counterclockwise. Yang ni tak boleh nak bergerak ke atas, ke kiri, ke atas, to the left, to the below. You cannot move. So when it can move to the top, below and right, we put the force. Like this one. Fs and Fy. It cannot move to the left, right, upwards and downward. So we put the force here, unknown force for the pin. Alright. This is a very famous uh, support lah in the question, the pin. So once we have pin, you can put the unknowns, which is Fx and Fy. Okay. So you have two. Number one, we have roller. Number two, we have pin. Okay. So roller only this one. So pin, you have Fx and Fy. All right. So num uh, support number three, the famous one is a uh, fit support. Uh, fit support ni uh, like you piling the bar inside a wall. So you have this wall. So you tanam uh, kayu ni, ataupun besi ni ke dalam wall. So it cannot move to the left, it cannot move to the right. Upwards pun tak boleh, ke bawah also cannot. You rotate pun tak boleh. You cannot rotate this bar. So you put all the forces in this support. So you cannot move to the left, 
you put this one, you cannot move to the upwards, you put this one, he cannot rotate. So you put this moment. Okay. So this one is feet support. Okay. This one is feet support. The rotation is prevented. Okay. The couple moment is exerted on the body. So dia tak boleh nak rotate, dia letaklah couple moment here. So you have three unknown force. Moment, Fx and Fy. Alright. So this one is other uh, other support lah. So we have a roller. Roller also same with the uh, roller as I said before right. Uh, we have roller here. So we have a cable. We have wireless link. Okay. And this one is not so famous lah. Not so famous. Okay. Uh, concentrate on this one. Roller. Uh, you have a rocker also. Sometimes we, we ask the question rocker. So for rocker, it's like a roller. So you have F here. Because it can move to the left. Dia boleh tergolek. Dia boleh uh, ke kiri dan ke kanan. Tapi tak boleh nak pergi atas dan bawah. So this one is not so famous. Not famous lah. Alright. This one also not famous. You can remember lah. Okay. Uh, this one also can lah, right? So this one is for smooth road. The unknown force is this way because it cannot move to this way and this way. So you put the force like this, All right? Uh, smooth pin. So this one I said before, pin. So for pin, you have two forces, F X and S Y, and then fits connected. You have uh, F here and with moment and fit support. Di mana you punya your bar is tertanam dalam dinding. So you have three forces. F S, F Y and and moment. Alright. So just remember at least three fit support, pin and roller. At least lah. Alright. Alright. Um, so F B D for the rigid body are same as before, all right? Plus you have one moment, okay? So for equation of equilibrium for the rigid body, for G, you have one extra. So before we learn summation of Fx is equals to zero, summation of Fy is equals to zero, you have one more which is Summation of moment is equals to zero. So you have three. Three question and you can have maximum three. And to solve this, to use this. If you have uh, four unknowns, you cannot use this equation. You need simplify. You have three equation. You you can only have maximum three unknowns to use this equation, right? So like this one, uh, draw the free body diagram of the uniform beam. The beam has a mass of hundred kilogram. So how we want to draw the FBD for this one, All right? So we have fit support. Okay, this one is fit support. This one is fit support. Fit support. And then we have load here. And then we have mass. When we have mass, we, we must put the mass into the system. So, nak letak kat mana mass? Biasanya, kita letak dekat, we put the mass at the center of gravity. Let's say this one is your center of gravity. So, we put mass here. And kilogram. Okay. So for the fit support, okay, remember fit support, fit support you have three unknowns, you have Fx, Fy and M, moment, okay. So when we want to draw this, uh, you can draw, don't, yes, Mm. 
This is BD. Okay. You draw the bar and then you replace all the forces into this FBD. You have 1, 20, 100, 1200 here. And then you have G, 100 kilogram. All right. And then this fit support, you need to convert into force, which is Fx, Fy, and moment. Okay. Moment here. Okay. That's it. So this is your FBD. Okay, so you need to convert these forces and then the reaction support into forces. So this problem you get uh, one, two, three. So you have three unknowns. Okay, once you have three unknowns, you can solve. Uh, you can solve this problem using equation of equilibrium. All right. So, but the question is asking only for FBD. Lah. It's not asking us to, to solve the problem. All right. Uh, okay, I, I think I already explained this. Uh, all right. So, determine the for problem number five. Now, uh, before I jump into here, uh, let's say talk about moment first. All right. Uh, so, for this moment, you need to take moment at where you have uh, largest unknowns, okay? You can take moment at point A, let's say, or you can take moment at point B, okay? You can take any moment at any point, but I suggest you to take moment at where the largest or the unknowns are exist, okay? Uh, talk later lah. Using example. Alright, so example, problem number five. Determine the horizontal and vertical components of reaction on the beam caused by the pin at B and the rocker at A. Neglect the weight of the beam. So this one is pin. Okay, so this one is pin. Okay, this one is rocker. So for the rocker, remember for the table before, so the force is only this way for the rocker, okay, force, unknown. For the pin, the force we have two, Fx and Fy, okay. If you not remember, you can refer to the previous slide. Huh? Uh, so you have rocker, here rocker, always 90 degree to the plane. Okay, kalau plane tu sangit-sangit lah. Kalau straight-straight lah. Alright. And then you have pin. So, for pin, you have uh, mana? Uh, uh, this one is pin. Alright. You have two. Fx and Fy in your unknowns. Okay. Uh, neglect the weight of pin. So, no need to put your weight into the gravity because you should abaikan berat. So determine the horizontal and vertical component. First step is draw your FBD. So this is your FBD lah. Okay. Uh, we have this one is pin. BX and BY is pin. We convert into force and AY is rocker. Okay. And then we, we in this one we resolve into S and Y already lah. So asalnya adalah 600 right? 600 Newton. So it's convert into Y and S. And then this is load. So this is your FBD. Right? So how many unknowns we have? We have three unknowns. We have BX, number one. We have BY and we have AY. So you have three unknowns. So you can we can solve this using equation of equilibrium. So step two, using equation of equilibrium, summation of FX is equals to zero. So uh, before that, 
the direction of the BS. The direction of BS, either you want to draw in this way, or you can draw this way, it's up to you. Okay, this is suggestion. You can draw this direction, you can draw also in this direction. Same with this BY, we can draw upward or you can draw downwards. Same with AY here. We can draw the unknown direction in upwards or downwards. It's no harm. Okay. If you get the answer negative, that's mean your assumption is uh bukan salah, tapi is opposite direction lah. All right. If you got the answer, let's say AY is negative. So your AY is going downwards instead of upwards. So this one you can draw. It's up to you. Okay. You can draw upwards or downwards. But for given force, you must follow the question lah. Because it's given 100 Newton is going downwards. You you must put downwards lah. You cannot put upwards because it's given. Alright. Only for unknowns. Only for unknowns you can assume the direction. Alright. You can go upwards or downwards. For the Fx, we have minus Bx. This one, minus Bx. And then we have 600 cos 45 plus 600 cos 45 equals to 0. So this one is equation number 1. And then summation I is equals to 0. So we have Ay, this one, Ay minus y minus because it's going downwards minus 600 sine 45 minus 100 newton uh, this one minus 100 newton going downward is negative plus by plus by and then minus 200 minus 200 newton is equals to zero All right, if I simplify this, uh, it's become a y plus b y is equals to or a y plus b y equals to six hundred sine forty five plus one hundred plus two hundred. You get. 724 724.26 newton right this is question number two so equation number three you can do a, you can find moment right so find moment find a moment at which point it depends you can find at point a point A, you can find at point D, you can find at point B. But I suggest you, you find moment at where the, the force is uh, banyak lah. So many, so many point force over there. So at point A, you only have one force. Okay. At point D, you only have one force. But at point B, you have three forces here. So I suggest you, you take moment at point B is equals to zero. Why? Because for the moment at point B, you no need to find the moment due to these three forces because the D is zero. Remember, moment is F times D, right? So D is zero, so moment is zero. So for the point B, all these three forces will become, uh, the moment is zero due to these three forces because D is zero. So take moment at point B, right? You hold this one. So we have F times D. The moment formula is F times D. So counterclockwise is positive. So if you have point D here, what's D? So it will turn this moment D, right? We turn this uh, 
clockwise, uh, counterclockwise. So you have 100 times 2, all right? 100 times 2. And then you have uh, plus this one, 600 sines 40. sin 45 times jarak antara D ialah inilah jarak dia 3 plus 2 which is 5 5 also counterclockwise and then this is no moment because it's one line to the point point D so this force AY AY is clockwise Alright, AY is clockwise. So you have minus minus AY times D. D is distance from this force into point point B, which is two plus three plus two. Uh, seven, seven. So this one is become zero. Okay. So imagine if you take moment at point A, you need you you also need to find moment due to D moment due to dy, dx and 200. If you take moment at point B, you no need to find moment due to 200, due to dx and due to di. So you less hustle lah. It's not wrong. You also can take moment at any point, but it become more words to do, right? If I simplify this, um, uh, 7, a y is equals to minus two hundred minus uh two hundred plus six hundred sine forty five times five. So you have two three two one. So this equation number number three. Okay, uh, so you have a y. You can simply solve lah, a, because there only one unknown. A y is equals to two three two one divided by seven. It's become three three one newton, right? So for this one also you can solve six hundred. Force 45, 4 to 4 Newton, 4 to 4 Newton, alright? And then you left the equation number 2. So plug in AY uh, into here. So you get the answer BY is equals to 724.26 minus 331. You get the answer 393, right? So 393 Newton. So you get the answer for BX, BY, and AY. Alright. So any question so far? Any question? Uh, you don't understand? Okay, uh, if no question, I think uh, we will do the last example uh, for this morning. So, problem number six. So, you have uh, two support at A and at B. Determine the horizontal and vertical component of reaction at pin A and reaction on the rocker B. Uh, in your case, uh, the question is telling you B is rocker, A is pin. It's okay. But sometimes the question is not telling you anything. It just gives you figure. So you need to figure out yourself, uh, what is this? Is this pin or rocker? All right? So that's thing you need to find, uh, do more exercise, uh, right? So this is pin. Pin, you have two forces. You have Fx and you have Fy. For the rocker, 
they have only one forces which is 90 degree to the surface let's say this one is fb right so that's it so how many uh unknowns you have you have three unknowns you have fx fy and fb okay no sorry uh, you should uh, draw your fbd so if you draw the fbd so i can draw here all right so imagine that pin you do have pin or you, i can draw here you have a x and you have a a y and you have a x so remember for pin you have two forces for rocker you only have one forces this is f f b right and then this is four kilonewton, newton right ada berat tak uh, it's not telling you anything so no no weight lah all right so so this is uh 960 degree right for 30 uh this one is 30 uh this one is 30, 30, 60 degree right this one is 60 degree 90 uh, 30 30 30 30 60 30 okay i think this is 60 30 degree 30 or 60? 60. Huh? 60 degree. Uh, you have a uh, force here. FB. Right? So angle here are theta. Theta is uh this one is 30 this one is 60 30 right i think 30 degree because here is 30 degree so here is 60 here is 60 degree so here must be uh 30 degree right? because this become 90. So, again, Uh, yeah this this is a 30 degree right so uh so here is fb so here is your 30 degree right so you have a y and then you have a a y and you have a s okay so this is your fbd or free body diagram so step two equation of motion okay equation of motion equation of equilibrium All right so summation of uh, f x is equal to zero so we have uh, a x and then minus f b sine 30 degree is equals to zero all right so this one is f b so you need to resolve into f b x and f b y and f b x all right so for FBY, you have FB sine 30, Y negative, positive lah, right? Y upwards is equal to zero. So this one is number one. Eh, betul lah negative. Right, negative. And then summation of FY is equal to zero. So you have AY uh, plus FB cos 30 degree minus 4 kilonewton is equal to 0. This one is question number 
number two. Alright. So equation number three is moment. Okay, you take moment at where the point force are, where the point are more forces. At this one, you have point A. Point A, you have two forces. So take moment at point A. So you have four kilometer times six. Is it clockwise or counterclockwise? Is it clockwise? So negative. So assume counterclockwise is positive. So when we pin here, we hold this point, point A. Okay, we hold point A. So these forces will make this beam go this way. So it's it clockwise. So clockwise is uh, negative, all right? And then for the force at point B, you have plus FB cos 30 times 8. Okay, is equals to 0. So for FBY, this one, it will turn this way. Alright, so this one is counter clockwise. So you have a positive value. We have positive value equals to zero. Right, so you have three equations you and then you have three unknowns. Okay, so you can solve this uh, using calculator. Uh, so mode equation unknowns three. So you have a one. You have minus uh sine 30 and then you have p1 is 1 and then 0 0 so question number 2 you have cos 30 0 1 4 kN right for equation number 3 you have cos 30 you have uh, okay, cos 30 times 8, right? And then you have 0, and then 0, and then 4,000 times 6. So you get the answer uh, FB. 3.46 kN uh, AX 1.73 kN and AY is 1 kN alright so you get answer uh, using simultaneous equation you have 3 equation you have 3 unknowns alright so you get this uh, Three answer. Uh, wait. Okay. Any other question? So you have the solution. Uh, the the notes like notes. They have the solution. You can refer to the solution there, if you understand. Okay. Um, okay. Part two. I think I part two. I, I will explain you in next class, lah. Alright. So today, any question before we end the class? Is that lah? Okay. Eh? Alright. Doctor. Hello. Yeah. Uh, regarding to the attendance, uh, just we rate the state and submit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't forget to okay. put your attendance. Alright? Okay, thank you. Okay, if no question, we end here. We continue our class on on Thursday, right? 10 p.m. Okay? Thank you all.